folks, Hunter Coley here with Nashville Steam. We're here inside the smoke box of the 576, and what we're doing right now is we're actually riveting inside the barrel and on the tube sheet. So essentially what we discovered was some of the rivets that were previously installed on the locomotive have, have corroded away to a uh, condition to where they necessitated replacement. What that entails is we're taking the rivet, we're burning it out with a torch, we're using an air hammer to punch it out, and then we're driving in a new rivet. We heat it up in a forge, we use this hammer holder right here and an air gun on the other side and we're compressing that rivet in. What that is allowing to happen is the rivet will swell inside the hole making a steam tight seal and then when it cools it will contract and that will pull the sheets together make a very complete joint so that the boiler will be very structurally sound. So in total uh, we're looking at about 400 rivets or so that we've uh, had to replace on this locomotive so it's uh, quite an extensive time consuming amount of work. Here we go! Your donations make this possible. Without this work, this engine will never run, so we really have you to thank for that. And riveting is really a, uh, an important keystone in getting the boiler prepped for a hydro, so obviously the boiler can't hold pressure if there's holes in it, so getting these rivets done, that's a big uh, milestone we're trying to get accomplished, and after this, you know, we're looking at getting stay bolts completed, get those hammered over to seal them, um, looking at getting washout sleeves, uh, welded in, lap, um, getting several ancillaries like the current installed, um, and then, you know, we're getting close to putting tubes in. Once tubes go in and they're rolled and sealed and welded and all that stuff, uh, we're talking about a hydro, and a successful hydro, that is a major milestone towards operation, so we're looking forward to that. If everything goes correctly, you start working towards the steam test. Steam test goes good, it would be it's just about the last, the last stretch after a steam test, just trying to get everything back together ready for operations.